as you can probably hear, we are back in Toronto. We used to go to university here, so we come back a few times a year to visit friends, and we do always love coming back. We're back here for a few weeks before we head out to Europe. We know Toronto is on people's bucket list. It is an amazing city to visit. I do recommend it, but it can be expensive and it's so big that it can be a bit overwhelming. Like, what do you do? How do I do this affordably? So we wanted to show you how you could have an amazing, fun day out in Toronto, all for under $30. That includes transportation, food, activities, even a souvenir, and we'll see. Can we do it? We've spent our entire 20s being best friends. We survived university together, traveled together, moved to a foreign country together, survived long distances apart, and made it back together during a global pandemic. All while making each other laugh along the way. If we've learned one thing in our 20s, it's that having amazing friendships is everything. And we want to say bon voyage to this decade in an unforgettable way. So, since we've been besties for the last 10 years, over the next 10 months, we're going to try and finish visiting 30 countries before our 30th birthdays. And we couldn't do it without bringing you along. We're going to document the whole process, so grab your bestie and get ready for an amazing adventure. Got our walking shoes on. Yeah, put your walking shoes on because we are going to be walking a lot of steps. We'll tell you how many at the end. So we just passed uh, Church Street, which is kind of like the gay village. Not kind of, it is the gay village of Toronto. And there is so many cool queer bars, stores, there's queer events and parties and stuff. It's where the Pride Festival is based out of each year. And Toronto has a really long history with the queer community as a city. So it's a really cool place. Check out that history as well. We uh, forgot the external charger, so we're just gonna run back and grab that. Hot tip, remember your external charger. So we designed a route that's completely walkable if you want to walk it and keep your budget really tight. But we also wanted to show you what it's like to go on the TTC. I feel like when you come to a big city like Toronto that has such a huge, cool metro, some people are totally cringing that I just called the TTC cool. But yeah, as, a yeah, as a tourist, you should definitely go on it. But keep your wits about you. You can buy a day pass or you can also buy a Presto card and load it with money. And then you just tap it to enter and you pay as you go. are back on the TTC. How do you feel? Um, I'm afraid, but I am excited. No, I'm just kidding. You know, go, 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 like any city metro. It's familiar in a way because we lived here, which is fun. If you know me, you know that the first stop needs to be coffee. So we are headed to our friend's coffee shop to visit him. If you want to do it on a budget! <laughs> You want to do it on a budget, but still get like a really good Canadian experience. I recommend Tim Hortons. You're going to have people that say it's not as good as it was, but I still feel you have to order an ice cap or a double, double coffee. And it's like a few dollars. It's a quintessential Canadian experience. A relic of an old time. The Eden Center is like a huge shopping mall in downtown Toronto. If you've already been to like malls before, I would skip it. It's like nothing that special but it is a great example. When I had a friend from Europe come here and visit, we took him here. This is where you would pull off to go to Tim Hortons. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> Strut it out. It literally like already- The humidity like, level is- My hair is getting bigger by the second. It's oh. full of secret. So right now we are on King Street West. This is one of the main like shopping, restaurants, streets in the downtown core. There's lots of iconic Toronto shops, such as the Queen and Spadina McDonald's. If you know, you know. I don't recommend. I mean, I do, but I don't, you know? <laughs> we should have mentioned as well, if you go to Queen Street West, there's a really cool thrift store called Black Market, where everything is $10. We used to go there all the time in university. Our denim jackets with the patches, if you have seen that video, is oh, from there. Perfect. Coming up here on the left, we have the AGO, the Art Gallery of Ontario. This is not in the budget for today, but it is an amazing art gallery and museum as well. 
We are passing through the Chinatown neighborhood and also on the right hand side we're passing Kensington Market, a really cool artsy neighborhood as well. We're jaywalking, classic Toronto activity. And we have made it to our first food stop, which is Nom 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 Poutine, located on Dundas Street it's West. It's a double cheese poutine. No, that will be all things. My hair has already gone up because we're it's sweating. Human. I'm sweating. It's not even that hot, it's just humid right now. Yeah, definitely. And like muggy. This looks so good. Have a good day. Yeah. Okay, so poutine, in my opinion, is the best Canadian food. And if you come to Canada, you have to try it. This looks pretty incredible. An important part is it has to have cheese curd, not shredded cheese. Very important, if not the most important part. The other thing I want to point out is what a great value this is. It's huge. Literally, phone comparison. Oh my gosh, the bottom is so hot, which is amazing. So definitely two people could share this. And this is going to be amazing. Let's taste test it. A little bit of everything. Ooh, it's going to be hot. classic poutine. The gravy is the perfect amount of creamy and salty. The cheese curds are a little bit squeaky but they're starting to melt with the gravy and the fries are thick enough that they are like still crispy and like fluffy with all of these toppings. This is so delicious and this is so quintessentially Canadian. It takes me back to my childhood. What would you rate this compared to other poutine as someone who's tried a lot of poutine? I'm gonna give Nom Noms a 9 out of 10. Whoa. Yeah, I think like everything about it is delicious. The fries are the right texture, 100% 9 out of 10. All right, it's time to head to our next stop, which is the ferry to Toronto Island. We were stressing running here because we were, it only comes once every hour and we were kind of like on the borderline. But we made it. Here we are. Very cute. It's a beautiful view. Trip. It's colder than I thought it was going to be on this boat. Of course we're on the water. Yeah, on the water, but it's still not, it's not like you don't even get happy. And then honestly, it's nice, finally the sweat rolling off of the boat. It's true, it's refreshing. Yeah. What were you saying about Toronto style? Oh yeah, one of the things, Toronto has amazing street style, and it is like unique, like there's a look around Toronto, but still like uniqueness within that look. So if you're a fashion person, Toronto's just amazing people watching to see all the cool style. It's fun to be back somewhere where people are like so experimental and crazy with their looks, but in a very distinct Toronto way. Yeah. Yeah, Effortless. it's a cool, artsy. Yeah. Yeah, very I love dark, it. Very moody, yeah. yeah. It's cool to see. So first let's figure out where we want to go. We are currently on the center island. Maybe the best $9 I ever spent. We are making our way to the other side of the island and so far it feels so peaceful. Not only is this island so beautiful, but there is a lot to explore. There's a theme park that is geared more towards kids and families. There's beaches. We really lucked out with the weather today too. It's like the perfect amount of hot with a breeze now that we're on the island. It's yeah, just it's been so lovely. Yeah, it's here than it is in the city. In the city. Yeah, a lot less like humid. The breeze off the water, which yeah. is really nice. If you ever need a break from like the city sweaty, heat, you know. But yeah, it's been really beautiful. It's a new song we made up. Beautiful. We're running. We're running. Wow. We are just passing the CN Tower in the Lakeshore District. And this whole trip is walkable, you know, depending on how much you want to walk. But if you're only going to walk one part, get off the ferry after going to Center Island and walk to our next destination because you get some iconic Toronto landmark. It is a nice walk, the Lakeshore District. Yeah, um, this area of the city is so beautiful and walkable in general, so it's a great spot to check out. Yeah, there's Ripley Aquarium, CN Tower. There's also Rogers Center, which is where we saw Taylor Swift. What a full circle moment. University. We're gonna see Taylor Swift again in a couple weeks, and this is where we saw her together the first yeah. time. I am feeling the heat now. I know, it's so hot. Woohoo! It was really hot, so we're in a grocery store and just have like a minute of air conditioning. Oh, as I almost run into the post. The aforementioned McDonald's. There's lots of iconic Toronto shops, such as the Queen and Spadina McDonald's. We're 20 minutes away from our last meal. We just need to make it 21 minutes to get to oh, pizza. Okay, I'm burning. <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> it is 33 right now. 33 degrees Celsius. I think it was 73% humidity. Uh, Always hot. Even local Torontonians that we pass on the street were saying, it's fucking hot. And it is. So we are almost there. 
Almost at pizza. Almost at our last stop. Hi everyone. I'm burning here. I'm crying. Nothing to worry about here. Let me have some We are much farther down Queen West than we were earlier today, and we're passing Trinity Bellwoods, a really big and beautiful park in the city. And it was at this moment I realized our microphones were not working. So please enjoy these clips of us eating delicious King Slice pizza in silence. In all seriousness though, this pizza was delicious and so worth the money. The crust was the perfect amount of chewy and they even asked if we wanted to put garlic oil on top. So of course we said yes. And a trip would not be complete without a little souvenir. So we are heading to our final stop. We are at the Drake Hotel. Hello. I'm actually just wondering if you guys still have the photo booth oh, in the yeah. hotel. Yeah, do you? Yeah, okay, cool. So Where do we go for it? Amazing. Thank you so much. We just didn't want to bust through. No, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> do you see it now? And then to go take another right and then you can't miss it. Oh, oh I still have it. Both of us Okay, that's okay. Amazing, thank you so much. So we had to ask about seven people to uh, show us where it is. You had to take a little right at the end of the restaurant and then another right. So we'll show you everyone was in very the clips. Nice, we asked. Everyone was lovely and they were excited that we were here to try it. Yeah. Insert $5 bill and get two prints. It's not a bad deal. Should we plan out our poses? Should we, how many do you get? No. Okay, it gives you a lot of time between photos. You could change your outfit. In you between. could change your makeup look between. And I don't know. I haven't had a photo with in a long time, but in the past, I always was like, quick. So I'm holding the post yes. for so long. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you Spot the one. second one that um, took us off guard. And after such a long day, our microphones decided to clock out early. So this pretty much brings it to the end of our ultimate day in Toronto on a budget. It was a journey, to say the least. Our entire itinerary and budget will be on screen and can also be found in the description box below. Let me know what you'd be most excited to try when you come to Toronto. And next time you see us, we'll be headed to Europe.